we start out the morning with the chanting. As a way of creating the right frame for the day. We have the chants on the Brahma Viharas, chants on paying respect to the Triple Gem. What does the Triple Gem mean to us? Well, the fact of the Buddha's life and the fact of his awakening means that we live in a world where the way to the end of suffering has been found and has been taught. And that event should reorient our lives. Otherwise, we're oriented in line with whatever the politics are of the day, whatever the mood of the day is, whatever the media has to tell us about what's going on in the world. And it creates the wrong frame, because they're telling us the most important things in the world are what other people are doing someplace else. The Buddha says, no, it's what you're doing right now that really makes a difference. So we have this opportunity to practice, we have these teachings, so you want to make the most of them during the day. Reflect on what the Buddha had to say about where our suffering comes from. It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from the society outside. And the Buddha himself lived in an imperfect society. But even then he said, you know, the problem comes from inside. So things haven't changed today. Sometimes we hear people saying that they want to improve on Buddhism and locate the sources of suffering outside. Well, that's putting the problem outside of your control. Because when you start trying to straighten out the world outside, you're going to have to come into conflict with others, because they have their ideas of what the world should be like. Whereas if you want to straighten out your own mind, there's no conflict. The only conflict is within your, your own mind, with your own defilements. And that, the Buddha says, is a battle that can be won. So he left his dharma behind, and he trained the Sangha, the monastic Sangha. as a way of keeping the Dharma alive, keeping it alive in line with the basic principles of the Dharma. We try to live in harmony, we try to live with goodwill for one another, sharing right view, sharing the same precepts, being generous with one another. It's within that atmosphere that the Dharma thrives. When it gets turned into an item out in the marketplace, which is what the world tries to do, then it just becomes another commodity. But here it's more of a quality of the heart. So think about that every time you chant the chants in the morning. Get the mind in the right frame. And we conclude with the chants on the Brahma Viharas. Remind ourselves that in searching for our own happiness, we're not doing it in a way that's neglecting other people. We're being responsible in the way we look for happiness. We want to make sure that nobody else gets harmed. You might say, Keep your eye on your breath and nobody gets harmed. It's like one of those threats they make in the cop movies. Keep your eye on the breath. Realize that if you're going to find happiness, it's going to be within. It's one of the reasons we have the eight precepts here. So instead of looking for the pleasures outside and the pleasures of the senses, we direct our attention inside. So try to keep your mind in the right framework as you go through the day. So that the meditation is not just one more thing you add to your daily schedule, but it informs the values that you have as you go through the day. For the next couple of days we're going to have a lot of work here. So look at that as an opportunity to be generous. And remember to observe the precepts, observe the principles of right speech as we interact with one another. And that way the work is not going to become a interference in the practice. It becomes a way that we can learn how to take the practice and apply it in all sorts of situations. So keep the right framework in mind. That's going to help in that.